The small town of Oak Ridge was surrounded by dense forests, its isolation a stark contrast to the bustling cities. With its charming houses, narrow winding streets, and ever-present scent of pine in the air, it was the perfect place for someone looking to escape. For Lily, a journalist seeking solace from her troubled past, Oak Ridge offered a chance for peace and a fresh start. She arrived in Oak Ridge on a crisp autumn day, the leaves ablaze with fiery reds and oranges. Her new home, a quaint cottage at the edge of town, seemed like something out of a storybook. The townsfolk were friendly enough, always ready with a smile and a wave, but beneath their warm exterior, Lily sensed an undercurrent of unease, a reluctance to delve too deeply into certain topics. Lily had chosen Oak Ridge after a tumultuous year in the city. A high-profile investigation she had spearheaded had gone disastrously wrong, leading to a public scandal and the end of her career. She needed a place to start over, to rebuild her life away from the prying eyes of the media. Oak Ridge, with its picturesque setting and a promise of anonymity, seemed like the perfect refuge. Her peace was first shattered when she started receiving anonymous letters. At first, they seemed innocuous, mentioning mundane details of her day, the groceries she had bought, the books she had been reading. But as the weeks passed, the letters became more personal, revealing intimate details only someone close to her could know. The handwriting was neat, almost clinical, and each letter left her feeling exposed and vulnerable. The letters became a daily occurrence. Lily felt her privacy slipping away as the letters grew increasingly invasive. One letter described a scar on her ankle, hidden beneath her sock, a detail no one else knew. Another mentioned the exact contents of her fridge, down to the half-eaten slice of cake she had forgotten about. Fear gripped her as she realized the sender was watching her closely. She tried to dismiss the letters as a prank, perhaps from a bored neighbor with too much time on their hands, but the feeling of being watched grew stronger with each passing day. She noticed shadows flitting just out of sight, strange noises in the dead of night, and a creeping sensation that someone was always behind her. One foggy evening while walking home from the local market, Lily encountered Mr. Bennett, a reclusive old man who lived on the outskirts of town. He was a tall, gaunt figure with piercing blue eyes that seemed to see right through her. With a grave expression, he warned her of a hidden danger in Oak Ridge, urging her to be cautious. His cryptic words only deepened her unease. Determined to uncover the truth, Lily began investigating Mr. Bennett's warning. She discovered a disturbing pattern of missing persons in Oak Ridge, dating back decades. The disappearances were shrouded in mystery, with no bodies ever found and no leads for the police to follow. The townsfolk seemed reluctant to discuss the matter, their eyes filled with unspoken fears. As the days passed, Lily became increasingly paranoid. She felt eyes on her wherever she went, and a strange occurrence began to plague her. Objects in her home were moved, lights flickered without cause, and she found muddy footprints outside her window. The sense of being watched was unbearable, driving her to the brink of madness. Her journalistic instincts kicked in and she started documenting everything meticulously. She kept a journal detailing every interaction, every odd occurrence. She installed cameras around her home, hoping to catch the stalker in the act. But the footage showed nothing out of the ordinary, only heightening her frustration and fear. Her investigation led her to the town's archives a dusty room in the basement of the old courthouse. She pored over records, piecing together the town's history. Oak Ridge had always been a quiet town, but every few years someone would vanish without a trace. The missing persons were all different, men, women, children, but there was one common thread. All had moved to Oak Ridge, seeking a fresh start. One stormy night as thunder rumbled and rain lashed against her windows, Lily decided to set a trap for her stalker. She stayed up late pretending to sleep while closely watching her surroundings. Hours passed in tense silence until she heard the faint creak of a floorboard. Heart pounding, she sprang up from her bed, confronting the intruder. To her shock, it was Mr. Bennett. 
He stood there, a look of sorrow and resignation on his face. You weren't supposed to find out this way, he said softly. Confused and angry, Lily demanded answers. Mr. Bennett revealed that Oak Ridge was a facade, a controlled environment for a secret project involving mind control experiments conducted by the town's authorities. He explained that Lily was a key part of the experiment, monitored and manipulated since childhood. The letters were tests meant to gauge her reactions and control her behavior. The town's history of missing persons were linked to the experiment, with subjects who failed the tests quietly removed. The truth hit Lily like a ton of bricks. She felt her knees weaken, her vision blur as she tried to process the enormity of Mr. Bennett's revelations. The friendly faces of Oak Ridge were not what they seemed. They were part of the experiment, their every action calculated and controlled. Reeling from the revelation, Lily delved deeper into her past, uncovering evidence of the experiments. Old photographs, medical records, and hidden files painted a horrifying picture. She realized that her entire life had been orchestrated, her memories and actions manipulated by unseen hands. Her parents had been part of the experiment too. They had moved to Oak Ridge when she was just a child, seeking the same fresh start she had sought. The experiment had claimed their lives, leaving her an orphan, but she had been too young to remember. The authorities had taken her in, raising her within the confines of the project, molding her into the perfect subject. Determined to escape and expose the truth, Lily devised a plan. She gathered the evidence preparing to flee Oak Ridge and reveal the experiments to the world. But as she put her plan into motion, she discovered another layer to the conspiracy. In a chilling twist, Lily uncovered documents that revealed she was not just a victim, but a creation of the experiment. Designed to uncover the truth and lead the authorities to their downfall, she was a living weapon programmed to bring justice to those who had suffered. Stunned by the revelation, Lily faced a choice. She could continue with her escape plan, exposing the truth and bringing the experiment to light, or she could embrace her true nature and take down the corrupt system from within. Choosing the latter, Lily returned to Oak Ridge. Her resolve strengthened. She would play her part, infiltrating the experiment's core and dismantling it from the inside. As she stared at her reflection in the mirror, she saw not a victim, but a warrior ready to bring justice. With a final look of determination, Lily stepped out into the night, prepared to face the darkness and emerge victorious.